guys, how are you today? Today I'm going to be doing my very first declutter of 2020. I love decluttering. I hate having products in my collection that I know I'm not using. So I declutter every month to every month and a half, depending on my mood. But I like to share my declutters with you guys. So let's go ahead and get to it. If you guys want to see the product that are the products that are going to be leaving my collection for this declutter. Now I have a lot, a lot of lip products today, but let's go ahead and get started with palettes that I'm gonna be getting rid of because that is always the hardest part for me. It's so hard for me for some reason to declutter palettes. Are you guys like that? I have four palettes today that I'm going to be getting rid of. The first one is the Bad Habit Crystal Palace palette. This is a highlighter palette and I mean the highlighters in here, you guys, feel really, really nice. Well, not all of them. Some of them feel really, really nice. They are beautiful, honestly, on the skin. Here's a swatch. Is that coming across? There we go. Do you guys see like the two shimmer tones there? I have one here and one here. Ignore that, that's from when I did my makeup today <laughs> and it won't come off. This eyeshadow palette or this um, highlighter palette is beautiful, but the thing is, Bad Habit, I'm pretty sure went out of business. They no longer make their stuff and I don't use it. So it's like, okay, I'm not using it in real life. I'm not gonna use it on camera because you guys can't get it. So I, what's the point of talking about it? I don't use it and then I can't use it if I did wanna use it on camera. So might as well just go ahead and get rid of it. Along the same lines, I have the Retro Love Palette from Bad Habit. I love this palette actually. It's a dupe for the Anastasia Subculture Palette. It's the exact same color scheme. It honestly, in my opinion, performs better than the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. So it's an amazing, amazing palette. But same thing, I don't reach for it because I'm just not reaching for this kind of color scheme. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it because if I did wanna reach for this color scheme, I could use the Anastasia palette, which you guys can actually still get, even though this one is better. You can't even get it, so why am I keeping it? I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. But next up, I have two e.l.f. eyeshadow palettes that I'm gonna get rid of, and I never thought I would get rid of these because I actually really like the e.l.f. Um, little 10 pan, at least 10, how many does it come with? Yeah. 10 pan palettes from e.l.f. I think they're actually really, really good, but I have one that I don't love, and that is the e.l.f. Mad for Matte Jewel Pop Palette. It's the one that comes with all of the colorful shades. I never liked this one. I probably used it three times when it first came out just to test it out, make sure that I knew how I felt about it, and I didn't love it, and now I don't reach for it at all anymore. When I want a colorful shadow, this is never, ever, ever the palette I'm going to reach for. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. It is my least favorite of all of ELF's eyeshadow palettes that I've tried. But I'm also gonna get rid of my Prism eyeshadow palette from ELF. This is one that I never thought I would get rid of because it's a very, very nice quality palette if you like shimmer tones. The thing is, mine's getting kind of old. The shadows are starting to kind of like crumble and dry out a little bit. They're not really performing the way that they used to. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have this green eyeshadow from this ELF palette all over my hands. But, it's not performing the way that it used to, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Next up, I have some Benefit brow products that I wanna get rid of today. So I have their, okay, first of all, let me start by saying, Benefit brow products are my favorite brow products on the market. I think they make the best gel like this. They also make the best pencil brow products in my opinion, but two of their brow products that I don't love are first, the high brow, and second, the 3D brow tones. The high brow, the only reason I personally don't like this is that I have a very yellow undertone to my skin. If you have a pink undertone, you might like this. Because what this is, let me show you guys a little swatch, a big swatch actually, I'm gonna try to do a lot because I've got a lot of swatches on my hand and I want you to see it. But this is what it looks like. As you can see, very, very pink in tone. And what it is, is you can just use it to kind of clean up around the, oops, I just put some on me clean up around the brows and just kind of like make a line, blend it out, and it'll just help your brows to look more evenly shaped, not so like muddy or messy if you're applying brow product before this, and it just kind of cleans that area up. It's a great product for that if you have a pink undertone to your skin. With me having a yellow undertone, it just looks odd compared to my yellow foundation and my yellow concealer. It doesn't match, it just looks weird, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. The next one is the 3D Brow Tones from Benefit. So this one is just an odd, odd product. What this is, I have the shade number four. What this is, is it basically supposed to give you more dimension to your brows by adding a different color that is different from your own natural brow color. Makes sense, right? <laughs> um, so for example, this one, if you guys can see, is like a brown, kind of like red toned brown or like a lighter brown. Then my actual color, my hair is basically black. My brow hairs are even black. But when I put this on, it just adds brown to the brows, which some people might like. It looks a little bit like highlights on your brows. It gives you more dimension. 
It looks absolutely crazy on me. I look like a psycho. It does not look good. <laughs> so it just looks like a gloppy mess of color on the brows. It makes it look like I couldn't match my own brow color and added a different color that never matched me. That's what it looks like when I wear this product. So definitely my least favorite of all of Benefit's brow products. Now I have two products from Wander Beauty. I have so many products that I love from Wander Beauty. One of them is the lip product that I'm wearing today, by the way. Where is it? I'm wearing their um, lip setter lipstick. Beautiful. Love that lipstick. Don't love the products that I'm about to get rid of today. And it's mostly one is for the color, one is for the smell. The Wonder Beauty Exquisite Eyeshadow in the shade Lilac Luster. I was so excited to try this because it is a metallic cream shadow. I love that sort of thing. Because it's so pink in tone and it's like that light pink, that light pink color just doesn't flatter my skin tone. It flatters a lot of other skin tones, just not mine. Here it is down here. Hopefully it's coming across on camera. Oh, there we go. Very glossy, very metallic, very beautiful on the eyes, but just not on my eyes. <laughs> if you guys have close to my skin tone, do you feel the same way with those kind of colors that are just like a light pink or a very light purple? It just makes me look sick when I put it on my eyes and it's not very flattering. Now the next product I'm gonna get rid of, I'm leaving in the box because I'm just gonna actually give this one to my sister. This is the Wonder Beauty Glow Ahead Face Oil. And I was really, really excited to try a face oil from them because I love oils, but this one has a rose smell to it. And I've talked about before how I'm actually very, very sensitive to rose smells. They give me a headache and I can smell them all day long. I, mean, I have a very sensitive sense of smell anyway. <laughs> so the rose just, I can smell it all day. It ends up giving me a really bad headache and it just doesn't work for me. So I'm gonna have to get rid of that one. Unfortunately, I didn't really even get to test it and see if it was any good. If you guys saw, I think it was my last declutter. I talked about how I'm trying to get rid of all of my matte liquid lipsticks. And I thought I got them all last time, but I have a ton here that I'm gonna get rid of today. So the reason for this is I just don't use them. I never have liked matte liquid lipsticks. They don't look good on me. They look very drying because I have very dry lips already. My lips are also very, what, what is this? I have makeup all over my hands right now from these products. I really think it was that first palette. One moment, please. I also have very, very wrinkly lips. And so matte lips just do not look good on me. I look like a little raisin and I don't like that look. So I'm trying to get rid of all of them. I think I got the last of them in this video, but we'll see. So I have, I'm not even gonna tell you the shades of these because I have too many, but I'll tell you the shades of the next ones that I'm getting rid of. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> My eyes are playing tricks on me. I have seven matte liquid lipsticks from CoverGirl. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all of these. These are the shades. Let me just hold them all up for you so you can see. In the past, I tried to kind of keep the ones that were unique in color. Like I have this gray one, this like brownish gray one. And I thought, oh, I can use those when I need a unique lip color. But let's be real, you guys. When am I ever wearing a unique lip color? Never. <laughs> I love to play it up on the eyes don't love to play it up on the lips. So why keep all of these lip products? Now, I also have a few carroty lip colors left that I also kept just because I was thinking, you know, these are a little bit more unique. They're really pretty colors. I'll wear them, never wear them. So this is what those look like. And I will tell you the shades of these. I have the shade Soho, which is like a nice purple tone color, purple berry tone. Then I have High Key, which is my favorite one. It's like a coral color, really beautiful, but you guys, I just don't reach for them. Then I have the shade Candied, which is a very beautiful red. Again, gorgeous red. I will never wear it. And then I have Fade Out, which is like a more kind of like mauve colored lip color. Let's get rid of it, you guys. Let's get rid of it. I have one color pop straggler. I thought I got rid of all of them. Apparently I didn't. This is in the shade Teeny Tiny. I must have kept this one because it was a mauve color and I love a mauve, a mauve colored lip. Not gonna wear it. Goodbye. Okay, and then the last one, I can't believe I still have this. I don't know why I still have this. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Liquid Lipstick. I don't even know what shade this is in, but it looks almost like a concealer <laughs> color. This is a terrible liquid lipstick. Why have I kept this in my collection for so long? It is the driest formula I've ever tried, the worst liquid lipstick I've ever tried. And I don't know why I still have that in my collection. So goodbye. Next up I have some color correcting palettes. Color correcting is one of those things that I always thought I would love and I love the idea of it, right? Like I love the idea that I can cover up my dark circles even better if I use a different type of product. I love the idea that I can color correct redness from breakouts or anything like that, but it never seems to work for me. Hold on, cause my makeup is looking rough underneath the eyes right now. 
I feel like every product that I've tried is either too heavy to where the area that I'm putting that product looks too cakey, or the product is too sheer to where it's really not doing anything other than adding more product or another step for me to have to do. So I only have two color correcting products left in my collection because I've decluttered all of the other ones. The first one is the e.l.f. color correcting palette. This one has a peach tone, a green tone, a blue tone, and a yellow tone. Thought I would love that, don't love it. And then I have this CoverGirl's Full Spectrum Contour and Correct Expert. It's mostly got like, you know, contour and bronzer tones in here, but it also has a really nice color correcting shade. I thought that would be the perfect shade for me, and it's not. It doesn't work for me. None of these type of products work for me. I just dropped my box that has all my products in it. <laughs> but none of these type of products work for me. They're, like I said, too cakey or not enough. So. I'm gonna get rid of all those. And then I have another lip product that I forgot about. This is the e.l.f. Um, what are these called? Lip scrub. <laughs> it's their lip scrub that comes in like a lipstick tube like this. I actually really liked this for a very, very long time and I just haven't found myself reaching for it in a really long time. So it's probably way too old at this point and I don't know if I'll repurchase it just because I don't use lip scrubs as much as I used to. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. That's everything that I'm going to be getting rid of in this declutter. My first declutter of 2020. It feels good to get rid of stuff, but at the same time, I feel like maybe I got rid of stuff that was a little too easy this time around. So <laughs> I'm like choking on air here. <laughs> but I was going to say maybe for my next declutter, I'll try to get rid of stuff that is a little bit more difficult for me to get rid of. We'll see. But that's going to be the first one for the year. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. What are you getting rid of in your own collection? Let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.